In this video, I want to explain how you can simplify algebraic expression with powers and exponents. Okay, so let's take up a simple example on number. Okay, so the first example is, let's say it is you're dividing 3 by 21. So to simplify fractions, if it's a number or algebraic expression, we are going to write this as a prime factor. So the 3 I can write as well. This is 3 times 1. And 21 is 3 times 7. So if you have a 3 and a 3 sitting like this, or if this is basically 3 divided by 3, so that is 1, or you're basically dividing by 3 to both 3 and 21. So this is 1 times 1, so the final answer is 1 7. You could have also gone like this, so this is 3 divided by 21, the same thing. You could have also done well, I'm going to divide the top number by 3, the numerator by 3, so divide the bottom by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. Okay, so let's write the next question. If it is, say, 20, 20 over, or 20 divided, sorry, 12 divided by 20. So, well, you can write 12 and 20 as 4 in 4s, so that is 4 lots of 5. Sorry, that's 4 times 3, 4 lots of 3 divided by 4 times 5. Okay, so basically you're dividing both 12 and 20 by 4. So you can cancel this. This strategy helps when you're doing algebra. So this is 3 fifth. Okay, so let's make bring to algebra. Suppose the third question is uh, so 6ab, 6ab divided by 4a. So first let's write the numbers as prime numbers, so prime product of prime numbers. So 6 I can write as 2 times 3 times a times 1, a times b. And the denominator I can write as 2 times 2 times a, because 4 is 2 times 2. So, well, I can cancel the 2's and I can cancel the a's. So, what is remaining is 3, you got 3b on the top, so 3 times b is 3b, divided by 2. That's your answer. Okay, let's look at one more question. Uh, what if it is a 6ab divided by 12a squared? So let's write this out. So this is same as 6 times a times b. You could have written 2 times 3, but I'm writing 6 as 6 because I can write 12 as 6. So this is 6 times a times a. So what can be cancelled? Well, 6 and 6 can be cancelled, and A and A can be cancelled. So what remains is B over A. And that's your answer. Okay, one more. What if it is 8A cubed divided by 4A squared? Well, 8 I can write as a 4, so that is 4 times 2 times a times a times a divided by 4 times a times a. So in algebra, if you write it out, you can see what happens. So well, this 4 and 4 can be cancelled. This a and this a can be cancelled. So basically, when you're cancelling, you're saying 4 divided by 4 is 1. This is a divided by a is 1 a divided by a is 1. So your final answer, this is 2 times what is remaining on the top, you got 2 times a, so let's write it out, over what is remaining, nothing is remaining at the bottom. So that is 1. So when nothing remains, you can write 1. So that is same as 2a divided by 1, which is 2a. Okay, if in the same way, if nothing remains in the top, when every number or expression is cancelled, you can write 1 on the top or bottom. So you're 
everything is cancelled or if you want to understand you're dividing so dividing by 4 by 4 so that's 1 4 divided by 4 is 1 a divided by a is 1 so basically this is 1 so this is 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times a is a and 2a divided by 1 is same as 2a okay so what will happen if it is 10 m squared 10 m divided by say 30 m squared let's make so this I can say well this is same as 10 times m divided by 10 times 3 times m times m so what can be cancelled well this 10 and 10 can be cancelled so this is 1 10 divided by 10 is 1 10 divided by 10 is 1 m divided by m is 1 m divided by m is 1 so what remains is in the top what remains is 1 times 1 divided by 1 times 1 times m so the final answer is 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 1 times m is m okay so let's move on so let's do i will i will write these questions try to do this yourself so 20 m n squared divided by 5m this is question number 8 say if it is 6 p q squared divided by 15 q cube and two more so let's complete 10 questions so this is m n divided by m squared and the final question is 6 x squared y divided by 3 y you can pause this video and try to do this yourself hopefully you should have done by now so I'll just work this out so this is 4 times 5 is 20 times m So this 5 and 5 will get cancelled, m and m will be cancelled. So this is 1 remaining in the denominator. So the final answer would be 4n squared. So let me write it here. So this is 4n squared divided by 1, which is 4n squared. Okay, so this would be, you can write 6 and 15 as 3, so 3 times 2 times p times q times q divided by 3 times phi times q times q times q so if you do the cancellations so if you do the cancellation 3 and 3 gets cancelled these two q's gets cancelled so your final answer what is the remaining is 2p in the top divided by 5q okay so we're almost there so this is same as m times n divided by m times m so this m and m can be cancelled and your final answer would be n over m and here I hope we can understand directly the answer. So this y and y can be cancelled. So 3 goes in 6 twice. So nothing remains in the denominator. So this is how you can do fast. So what remains is 2x squared divided by 1. That is 2x squared.